Time for another fish room update, guys. All right, YouTube, Brian here again, coming at you with a fish, up, fish room update for October. We're going to start upstairs today, just kind of show you what I've got going on, any changes, things like that. Um, you're looking at the 150 gallon discus tank in my office. Um, nothing's changed yet. I think I've mentioned in the last video that the plan is to move this out to the living room and move the 125 from the living room in here. And then I'm going to have just a simple discus tank with a pool filter sand and driftwood and maybe a 3D background and that's going to really be it. But in the meantime I'm just kind of letting these guys hang out here till I have the time and stuff to do that. Had some other more pressing stuff with some of my different fish and shrimp and, and the reef and everything. So these guys are on the back burner kind of until I just have the time. But they're all doing good. These are the wild caught discus. Um, a few different types in here. And uh, yeah, they're all doing great. Love to eat, always hungry. Sorry about the glare. You know, that's probably the most said phrase in any fish tank video. Sorry about the glare. <laughs> Everyone says it. I noticed that recently when I was watching a couple videos and I know I say it all the time too. Kind of funny. Anyway, um, the 90 gallon planted discus tank is doing okay. Have, still having problems with the s repins. They're just looking real ratty and not growing the way I'd like them to. Thinking about tearing those out and um, trying a different type of carpeting plant, maybe some Monte Carlo. Uh, the Blix is doing good. I sold off a bunch of it, so it's pretty thin right now, except for these two kind of big clumps. But that'll grow out in no time, and then I'll sell off some more. Kind of just a cycle with this tank. I've got some uh, Pogo Stamen Erectus on both ends, too, that, that I'm growing out. looks pretty nice. Just uh, thought I'd add some of that to the tank. And then... Um, you see that the uh, um, AR Mini is looking pretty thin. What I did is I tore all of what I had out because it was just looking bad and had a lot of algae and that type of thing. And I ordered some new stuff and it's it melted back pretty good and it's just starting to look like it may bounce back. I'm not quite sure yet. So we'll see how that goes. I'll keep you updated on that. Uh, down below is the uh, Yellow Neal Shrimp Tank. Um, I'll get more into that on my next shrimp update, but um, they're doing good. Um, there's been some babies in there. This used to be the red, cherry red shrimp tank. It's empty right now. I got some plans for this one coming soon. And then I sold off my blue velvets and the cherries are all now in this tank. Doing well. Sorry about the glass there. It's kind of got a lot of algae on it, but... So that's what's going on in the office. We'll take you out here and uh, we'll look at the uh, 125. It's doing well. Basically what I'm down to now, and they're going to be skittish just like last time probably, is I've got two um, Red Tiger Motoguens. They, I, again, I don't know a ton about these Red Tiger Motoguens. Um, or RTMs but I think I've got a male and a female they've been showing behavior that they've paired off at times um, and then at other times they seem like they don't want anything to do with each other so we'll see they've been doing a lot of digging as you can tell um, and like I said before this tanks gonna go into the office eventually and then um, I will probably bring up a pair of fish from downstairs and bring these guys downstairs and keep them down there. Um, they just don't seem to do good in a heavy traffic area, which is kind of what this is. So um, I'd like to get them down in the basement where, you know, I'm not down there all the time and neither is my wife. So 
Still got a ton of clown loaches, but it's the time of day where they aren't really out. They're, they like to hide under this bunch of rocks right here. There's uh, seven or nine of them, I think. So that's that. Um, I will show you the reef quickly, but I'll leave most of it up to a specific reef update video coming soon. Had some ups and downs with this tank. I'll get more into that um, coming up, but overall things are doing well. <coughs> um, it's expected, uh, especially for a first time reefer, that uh, you're going to have some problems, which I definitely have both equipment wise and livestock wise. So. Again, we'll get into that a little bit more later, but I thought I'd give you just a sneak, a quick sneak peek at that. So, um, we'll take you downstairs now. And we'll show you the main part of the fish room, or the downstairs fish room, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we'll just start right at the bottom of the stairs here. The F1 Spectabilis tank. Pleco in there too. She's beat up. She always is. They spawn, not regularly, but every couple of months. Eggs get eaten right away, and she gets thrashed. She heals, and then they take to each other again. He's just a sweet specimen, though, for a Spectabilis, in my opinion. Really like his colors and stuff. Um, the lighting's not bringing it out completely right now, but he's, he's just a gorgeous fish. So, um, we'll just continue to hold on to these guys and see what happens. Down below, I've got the wild caught. Um, Spectabilis from Raps, this old guy. I'm going to move him on as soon as I can get around to it. Um, I've had him up for sale for a while. Um, probably just bring him to a local fish store at this point. Or if somebody local wants him. He's... You know, he's fine, he eats, he swims around when he wants to, but a lot of times he just kind of hangs out like an older fish would, so it is what it is. That's kind of what he's doing right now. Not much to see there. I'll free up a tank then when I get rid of him. Uh, this is the uh, F2 Midas or Amphilophus citronellus. Um, these are... Um, they've spawned twice now, but this is the first time that they've uh, kept fry. I haven't pulled any, um, but they've uh, been pretty good parents. Um, it was a smaller spawn, but um, nonetheless, they've definitely held on to a lot of the fry, so we're just going to kind of see what, where that takes us. I don't know if I'm going to grow them out or not, but I really like this pair. They're going to move into a bigger tank real soon. Um, get them out of the 75. Uh, in this tank too, there's a Pleco and a couple of uh, Polypterus. They're not out right now that I can see, so I can't really get them on camera. Um, so, but that's these guys. Uh, down below is the Trimac pair. There's the male. They've spawned twice for me, um, but the Fry for the most part haven't made it. The first spawn I pulled some and I've got like 10 growing out. Um, the female's hiding right now but um, they spawn and for they'll have free swimmers for about a week and then they're gone so I'm assuming they they eat them and then he beats the female up pretty good for a while and she hides most of the time and then eventually she starts to heal and comes around and then they spawn again so I don't know we'll see what happens with these really like them but they can get frustrating at times with the way they're living and not getting along and getting along and blah 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 so anyway uh, moving on, the uh, this latest tank up here, as you can see, I've got them divided. He's just constantly picking on her. Um, since I've had them divided, this is the second time now where I've noticed that her tube's down. You can see today. Um, the first time I undivided them, she had almost healed up, and then he just thrashed her. So this time. I'm going to just see if she lays and, and he fertilizes through the divider. Um, 
you know, she likes this pot, so I'm thinking maybe she'll lay on this pot and we'll see what happens. But otherwise, if that doesn't work, or even if it does, I'm probably going to be looking to get rid of the female. She's a great fish, but he just, he's, he's ruthless with her. So I'm going to be looking, if anyone's looking for a female Redis latest, let me know. I'm going to either just keep him as a single wet pet or try to find another female. We'll see what happens, but... She's awesome. It's just she can't hold her own when he thrashes on her. And he's really awesome. This guy's just full of attitude. It's just too bad that they don't get along together, but it is what it is. Um, like I say, her tube's down again right now. She's probably... Uh, let's see if I can zoom in on that. You can see it a little bit there. Beautiful fish. She's in breeding dress right now, too. She, her bars are just really dark, and her colors are as, as nice as they get with her. So... Yeah, um, shrimp tanks here, been having some pretty good successes with breeding some of the ones that I was having problems with, namely the higher grade crystal black and crystal reds, I'll get more into that in my next shrimp update. Um, not much has changed with the uh, royal blue tigers or the carbon rillies. Um, I've set up four new shrimp tanks right now that are about cycled and ready for more shrimp. As you can see, um, I'm getting more and more into shrimp, but not going to get away from fish. Just really like them. Down here are what, have, what are quickly becoming my favorite fish. These are newer. I think I showed them in the last video, but these are the heterospilus. Um, I put some pictures up in aquatic support community recently and uh, I was lucky enough. Um, sometimes they are out and active and other times they're pretty skittish like right now. The ones hiding behind the pot. Let's see if they're... okay, it's going to come out. They get along well. Well, <laughs> I think that was more of a freak out right there than any aggression, but... Just, just really digging the colors on these guys. Hopefully, we'll uh, we'll get them to spawn at some point. They have spawned before um, in in the fish room of the person I got these from. Uh, these came from uh, um, James Randall. Well, actually, James Randall's dad, Bob Randall. But um, those of you local people in Minnesota, you know the Randalls have an awesome fish room. So uh, they spawned before I bought them, so we know that they're a proven pair. Just got to get them to spawn in my fish room. But yeah, really digging these guys. Colors are just spectacular. Really happy with them. It's nice when you buy some fish and you're just really happy with, uh, with them and don't think, oh, I wish I went to buy these, blah, blah, blah. So that's the Hydrospilus. We'll go up here and we'll take a look at the one Umbi tank. More glare there, sorry. This is Halen, the male. Um, F1 came from Magnus and Beast, from Mike Mann's uh, pair, Magnus and Beast. And this is his wildcat female, yet to be named. They spawn a few times for me. Um, right now there are some free swimmers in the tank. They're kind of past the point where they would uh, have spawned and I think it's just because they're still frying the tank I'm not sure but um, it's been longer than usual for them as far as kind of what their spawning cycle is he's starting to really get a nice attitude on him got some great freckling um, she she does too especially when she's kind of in mama protection mode Locking there. Some head shaking. It's good. Yeah, maybe uh, maybe we're a few days out from some spawning action with these guys too. 
This guy's just phenomenal, though. I really, really like him. Yeah, her color is really, really goldish right now, so they're about ready, I think, to spawn again. All right, below we've got uh, Thorson and Maggie, F1 Umbies. Um, Maggie, the female, is from also from uh, Magnus and Beast, and Thorson is uh, son of uh, some of you might know Thor, Mike Mann's uh, old Umby. And then another um, female. Um, they spawn regularly and they never keep the fry. I either have to pull the fry or they're gone after about a week, week and a half, two weeks. Probably closer to a week. They get to free swimmers. There's a huge cloud, hundreds of them. And they just never last. He's really blowing up now that he's in this new 180. Looking good too. She ain't afraid of him. Um, the fest day are over here. Been playing around a lot back in this corner lately. Hoping that's good news. They have not spawned other than the very first spawn I had with them. And what fry are left? There's one right here. <laughs> There's just a couple in this tank. There never was a huge amount. It was a very small spawn, but it was their first spawn. Uh, there's the male, there's the female, obviously, she's just looking awesome, real happy with this pair too. So we'll just keep our fingers crossed. They. They live together uh, just fine, never any aggression problems, um, just doing their thing. So we'll keep going, we'll keep uh, keep our eyes on them. Down below are the three lion's eye. Nothing new really to report on these guys, other than they don't do anything except swim around. There's not been any pairing off. Um, the tail on the smaller one is slowly growing back. But yeah, let's see if we can ever get a pair and do something with these guys. But for now, they're just kind of whatever. Um, up here, Spectabilis grow outs. I am looking to get rid of these. I've sold some recently. Looking to sell the rest. Um, let me know if you uh, want to buy any of these. I'll hook you up. These are anywhere from an inch and a half to a couple or close to three inches now. Looking really good. Just don't really have any use for them, so. And then I've got uh, some umby growths here. They're still pretty small. The biggest one is probably an inch. Most of them are more like half an inch. The few trimac growths that I was telling you about are right here. Or that I I shouldn't say. Well, fry grow whatever. The ones that I did save from the first spawn. This tank is empty, and then in here I've got a few. Thorson fry left. Um, 
got rid of some of these this past weekend. Um, they're way back there. Down below is just another grow out tank. And really that's about it at the time. Let's see if we can't get another nice picture of the heterospilus. Um, as always guys, I just want to thank you all for watching my videos. Um, I really appreciate all the subscribers and everybody that tunes in, everybody that comments and subscribes and hits the like button and everything. It's pretty, uh, pretty cool. Um, I enjoy interacting with all you guys on YouTube as well. Um, and as always too, make sure that you go check out Aquatic Support Systems, the business page on Facebook, and check out uh, Aquatic Support Community. It's a Facebook group that you can join and talk with other hobbyists and show pictures and have discussions and a lot of great people in there. And then all the members of Team Aquatic Support have YouTube channels. The links will be below. Um, you've got Mike and Conway and uh, Sean Armentrout, John Connolly, um, and myself, obviously. Um, check out all their uh, all their videos and, and uh, subscribe to them as well. All right, guys. Until next time. Thanks for watching and uh, take care.